Google Street View can help you look at a street and also judge it. There is a new deep learning algorithm from some computer scientists from Stanford University that is able to discern much more, uh, particularly political beliefs. And this is based on 50 million images from over 200 US cities using Google Street View specifically. And it used object recognition to clock tens of millions of houses, landscapes, shrubs, and most importantly, vehicles, according to them. Of these objects, vehicles are among the most personalized expressions of American culture. Over 90% of American households own a motor vehicle and their choice of automobile is influenced by disparate demographic factors, including household needs, personal preferences, and economic wherewithal, says the study. So they were able to use a very accurate object recognition algorithm, uh, which was able to get the cars make 66% of the time and could figure out if it was manufactured in the US 87% of the time. And this was actually really accurate. According to them, uh, they were able to guess political affiliation or voting records at least, which were able to be checked against um, over 80% of the time. I looked through the study itself. It's available publicly on the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. And I wanted to see specific things that they found out. They just said that they were able to find a lot of things out, including educational background in Milwaukee, Wisconsin zip codes, uh, accurately determining the fraction of the population with less than a high school degree, with a bachelor's degree, and postgraduate education, according to it. What they were mostly able to find concretely was that if a neighborhood had more sedans, it was more likely to have voted Democrat with an 88% chance. And if it had more pickup trucks, probably voted Republican with an 82% chance, which was pretty interesting. So they, the AI levied a lot of different things, not just, you know, is this a Toyota? Is this a Dodge? But it was also the price and the year of manufacture that they leveled in, which I think added to a bigger picture of socioeconomic status how many people are in this household likely and what they might likely vote for because of that. And you wouldn't think that you'd be able to make such grand sweeping generalizations based only on cars. Well, not only on cars, mostly on cars, but it did prevail the majority of the time for sure, 80% or above. So data is power, though it does seem to match anecdotally to what you might think, at least in the small amount of information that we've been presented here. What do you think certain cars mean about who a person is or whatever they might be likely to vote for or against? I drive a Prius. I think it's very easy to guess what I would be into. Please let us know your thoughts below and like and subscribe for more.